really hot. Get the air blasting, bruh. I don't even know if you can hear me now. Holy cow. I have been hot, I swear, all freaking day. It's 80, like, degrees out, and I'm in this. I don't dumbass. But today, on the to-do list, we have my eyebrows, because I haven't gotten them done in a fat minute. They're not terrible, but they're not good. And we're going to Hawaii, so we need those done. We're going to return these shoes. I got a pair of Golden Gooses, and, like, I don't hate them, but I don't love them for the price. And I feel like I could get, like, a better pair of, like, Jordans, or even just a new pair of Converse. These white ones are getting a little beat. And I also want to get a pair of running shoes, because I don't know how many times I can say this, I am in my running era. And then I want to go to Zara, look for some wide leg jeans, and a few dresses and possibly Lululemon just for some active wear like shorts and tanks. So let's go. Everyone's favorite time. All time. We were not there for that long. It's only 5.54 so we are there about an hour. I got my eyebrows done. They look really good. They always do such a good job. I swear every single time I cry and they hurt really bad but pain is beauty. We have a haul. Starting off with our fave Lululemon. I could spend all my money in this store but I need to stop myself. I was like, should I get the set? No, Ava. I just got the shorts but in this adorable new color. I don't actually own this style. They're the Speed Up High Rise short and four inches but these are so cute i tried them on and i just fell in love i need them for running and then also for running i went to nordstrom and i returned my golden gooses and then exchanged them for these obviously i got money back but i got my dream tennis shoes because i run in nikes right now and they're so uncomfortable because they're freaking air maxes and they're so bad this is the color i got obviously i want the all white but i feel like this color really suits me they can still go with everything but not get dirty as quick and I really love this color. I got them in the wide because my foot is actually freaking ginormous sometimes. And I got them in a 7.5. I'm probably gonna go home and literally go on a run. Story time, I actually got hit on the way here. Like my car, I know. I've honestly never been more sad because like I swear I just got my car fixed for like a few minor scratches like very minor things in my rims oh my gosh those were terrible. Wait till you see this. Wait till you- I'm literally gonna get out of my car to show you. Dude. But yeah, that's my day. That's my life. That's my story. Now I have to go home and run out my feelings. I could punch someone right now. So I totally forgot to update you guys, but basically I went on my run, took a shower, ate dinner. I ate the most bussin' spaghetti ever. I love pasta so much. And now we're getting ready for bed. We're not getting getting ready for bed, but we are like just preparing because I love like doing all my skincare and my hair care before I start my homework because it just makes me feel like, okay, once I finish my homework, Ava, you can go to bed, you know? So I look forward to sleep every single day. I don't know about you, but sleep is like the most exciting part of my day. Sleep rejuvenates you and it, it is good for you. You deserve it. And so I just like to feel like super comfy and all that stuff before I have to grind out all my finals homework because I'm waiting till the last minute. What time is it? 9.31. You can see that I really do my homework late at night, but who doesn't? I'm a junior in high school, if you guys didn't know, but my current skincare routine is so random. Don't even ask what it is because I change it up like every other day. That's actually not true though. I have the most sensitive skin ever. I've stuck to this routine for a fat minute. I've never used any other eye cream except this. I only switch my moisturizer because I stopped making my go-to. Elf probably has a lot of chemicals in it, but this is working for me and I'm scared to switch. When I do switch, I'll let you know how it goes. I just really like this stuff because it has hyaluronic acid and I've noticed like a big difference in my skin. New product though, I used this yesterday and I really liked how it made my skin look. I've had this for a while. It's the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marcula Oil. This stuff is good, but since I've like perfected my skin with just like this and eye cream, I'm like scared to put anything else on it. But I really like how hydrating this is and it's definitely not needed every day, but I just feel like doing it again for the plot. For the sole purpose of the vlog. It's honestly kind of oily, but it makes your skin glow. I got too much to do for finals. And tomorrow I'm pretty free, I think. Like schedule wise. But I'm trying not to get ahead of myself so I don't stress myself out. And I'm already stressing myself out as I speak. Can I open this please? What the I've also super been oh I've also just been into it, like just taking care of myself. Like I said, sleep makes me feel so good just feeling rested. So I'm not like continuing my Celsius addiction, if you know you know. And then also just like doing my skincare, my hair care. Favorite part of my night. I could be doing this for ages, for like my lifetime. It just feels so good having like my skin clean 
insane. I love it. Go follow my TikTok because I've been posting like a lot more. And I've been trying to like get my vlogs going, you could say. So you guys have something else to like watch other than these videos that I post once or twice a week. Speaking of which, summer is literally next week. So by the time you're seeing this, I'll be posting two times a week. So make sure you guys subscribe. Always and forever. I love you. And I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. Well, not thinking about. I am going to do a giveaway. I just don't know what yet. So comment giveaway ideas. It's going to be like kind of a thank you for 100,000 subscribers. Because wow, I do not thank you guys enough. But yeah, we're all ready for bed. I've been talking for 10 minutes. On the to do for homework, history interview project. I just have to write a one page essay on like this interview I did with my grandpa. And I'm going to work on my science climate change poster which is literally just about how diet affects climate change like being a vegetarian honestly knowing me i'll probably get distracted and or want to go to bed because i'm already really tired this video is going to be so long if i keep talking let's get to homework <laughs> Hey y'all. Hey. 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 Those are not for you. I just got back from school again. I was gonna vlog this morning, but I like completely forgot because I woke up so late. I forgot to set an alarm. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of just ate like in my last vlog. But am I hungry again? Yes. And I also have barely had any protein today. So we are making some egg whites. This is my favorite form of protein because I swear I, it tastes so good like with some salt and like oh so good and sometimes hot sauce oh my, I cannot get enough of this stuff and I actually prefer them over normal eggs because normal eggs gross me out I don't I don't like them we're gonna put some butter in our non-stick pan I'm just gonna like kind of show you how I make them it's nothing like fancy at all Dude, I'm trying not to scratch the pan. Stop, this is not for you. I got absolutely nothing done at school, if we're gonna be completely honest. I talked the whole day, cause that's what I needed for my soul. And if teachers got mad at me, they didn't, cause they don't care. But we didn't even do that much anyways at school. But that's kinda gonna lead to a lot of homework today, I'm not gonna lie. I also don't measure these out. Like I just pour to pour about what I think is right. That should be good. I have like a bunch of freaking fur in my mouth. Ugh. Now we're gonna add some salt, some pepper, and that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll add red pepper flakes, but I'm not really feeling the spice today because we're gonna use hot sauce. Once it looks like this, I actually start scrambling them like so. And then I just grab a big plate. And this is where it gets difficult when having four cats because I'm gonna put these on the plate and they're probably gonna grab it in T minus two seconds because they're gonna smell it. Yep, he's already coming. He's here. The vulture is here. Frick, I did it wrong. Pause. I'm putting the eggs on a small plate because what I like to do is this. I take my big plate and I put one of these low carb tortillas on it. These are so good. Honestly, they're better than normal tortillas. And then once like this one down here, I'm gonna put my eggs in the middle. And then we're gonna wrap this bee up. Once that's all wrapped up, we're gonna add more butter. And then we're gonna put my omelet thing back onto the pan and we're gonna let that fry up. And yeah, I'll be back when this is done.
I'm so proud of myself. I despise cleaning my room so much. But I thought I would give like a little jewelry tour because I get so many questions all the time on where I get all my jewelry. First up, we're gonna start with my necklaces. Currently, the one I'm wearing is from Stacked by Vale and her jewelry is absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't rust. There's so many cute pieces. It's just a little cross and I am quite literally obsessed. And then I don't know where I got this one. Now for earrings, my favorite ones are Ana Luisa and I I will wear these for the rest of my life. They are perfect and they've never rusted. I wear them through everything. Second piercing is just a diamond earring from Blue Nile. I don't really know the details. My mom got them for me. And then third is just from a piercing shop. Doesn't really matter. But some other favorite earrings that I have happen to be these little pearly dangly ones from Jack Maria Jewelry. And then I love myself another good dangly. And so I just have these ones. They just hang down. These are from Madewell. The thing about jewelry from different places is that you never know what type of yellow gold you're gonna get. Some are really yellow, like these ball bracelets from Jack Maria, while others can be more of like this rusty tone gold. Let me show you. For example, some necklaces I love happen to be from Jack Maria also. I want them to work with me so bad because they're my favorite place ever and I give them way too much free content. Sometimes your necklaces have more of this rusty type of gold look, which is gorgeous. It's just a pearl drop down. While some of their other necklaces I'm more of a yellow gold. Here's another Stacked by Vale necklace. Just this little shell. It is so gorgeous and it's drop down. And it's like a choker, but you can also make it different lengths. Such good quality. And to match that necklace, of course, I have the matching earrings from her. Gorgeous little shells with a pearl inside. I'm telling you guys, her jewelry is just so good. But another place that I also love getting jewelry is from Every Jewels. Oh my gosh, hello. That's where I get a lot of my rings because their jewelry is super affordable. Not that other places aren't, but you know. This one I just pulled out is actually from Jack Maria, and so is this one I'm wearing. See, this one is more of a rusty gold. Now, from every, for example, I have this ring, and like a snake ring, a little like double stacked ring, a croissant ring. And I have so many more from Jack Maria, and then like I have little stackables from every. They also sell them at, I think, all the jewelry shops that I just mentioned. These are a must have for rings. And every has like super cute ones, like these little heart ones right here and big stackables like this or this the possibilities are actually endless i'm obsessed with jewelry so much and then this bracelet i wear every day that i have matching with my mom is from every jewels i have a code for every and i have a code for stacked by valet so go get your hands on that stuff i have a list to do so i'm gonna read off everything that i'm gonna be doing i'm like kind of hot right now so i might go on like a little walk and now I'm gonna take a few pictures of curtsy items and on the walk I'm gonna like post them. Then I'm gonna probably eat dinner while I'm digesting. I'm gonna do my English quote citation assignment I have to do for like this in-class essay as my final. I also have a test tomorrow for English. I hate English. I have to figure out what I'm like studying for my history test and look at my notes to see if I have that because on accident I threw away all my history notes. As like my like wind down for bed, I'm gonna do science research for my post slash science project and then we get sleepy that is my list to do
I had the worst allergy attack like two minutes ago. So we're kind of suffering. But it is now 11.28 and I haven't done any of my finals work. And I haven't even been on my phone like all day. I was just... Okay, wait, that's a lie. If you count like taking pictures for curtsy and putting like my clothes on curtsy, yeah, I was on my phone. But tonight's homework is basically just science. Cause I don't really have to do English until like it's not due till Thursday. <laughs> Okay, this is not working. I'm literally just looking over the instructions. <laughs> Damn, you can't even see me. So before I leave for the lovely, lovely post office, I'm gonna pack up all my things in this bag and I'm also gonna do a little fresh up. All right, when it comes to the post office, I don't know about you guys, but there's always cute guys working at mine. But I also kind of have bad taste in men. But one of the biggest things that I take pride in is my perfume collection. And we have a little bit to add. Look at all these cute cases they came in. These are all from Scentbird, and I'm so excited to say that Scentbird sponsored today's video. Oh my gosh, I can just smell them from here. I love a good new perfume, so I'm gonna show you all these. But first, a little about the company. Scentbird is a subscription service that allows you to try a new designer perfume or more than one for just a small price of $17. As you can see, I have four here. You'll get a 30 day free sample in these little cute cases, and you can test these out before deciding and you want to get the full size bottle. There are 600 designer brands that you guys can choose from. Brands such as Prada, Gucci, Versace, Versace. And not only other perfumes, but for the guys watching, there's colognes too. And plenty of unisex options. Each scent comes with its own little note card and tells you about it. I got the Florel by Vince Camuto, Pink Peppercorn, Red Orchid, Sparkling Bergamot, Pink Vanilla, and Cedarwood. This smells so amazing. It smells like kind of rosy. Oh my gosh gorgeous. The X Nihilo by Flair Narcotique. I really am bad at pronunciations. It has bergamot, lychee, peony, transparent wood, and a little bit of musk. This one smells like heaven. I can't even. Oh my gosh. This Sicily by Lair Revy. Bergamot, pink berries, jasmine, green tea, and musk. This smells exactly like summer. This is gonna be perfect. And Deck of Scarlet by Your Majesty. Gardenia, jasmine, water lily, amber, and sandalwood. Oh my gosh. This actually smells like rich person. This smells so good. This is like more of a going out type of smell. Wow. I'm literally going on a little lunch date with my friends on Friday. I will probably be wearing this one. Out of all of these, I would have to say my favorite is the X Nihilo. Ni Nihilo? You, you know what I mean. Describes it as sophisticated and seductive. And my second favorite probably has to be this floral one, which is described as it brings out the playful spirit of a woman. I think I'm gonna wear this one today because it's not as like fancy and it feels more every day since I am just going to the post office. But let's not forget this subscription you can wear on date nights, friends, every day. I'm obsessed. Last thing I'll say is that Scentbird has fragrances that range up from $150 to $500. So go check out their website and use my code for money off. Link will be in description. But for now, we're all ready to go to the post office. Let's go. To procrastinate homework. I'm probably gonna be leaving all my final stuff to like midnight tonight. I swear I've been more productive in other vlogs. Finals week for me, I'm just like coasting. I have two days. Not even. It's like a day in two hours. And I just want it to be over. This was my outfit today for school. And I took a really hard English test because we had early release today. So we got out at 2 5, meaning our classes were shorter. So we only had 55 minutes to do like I think probably 120 point test because there are four short answers and like 60 multiple choice. It was insane. But I got it done to the best of my capabilities and I'm just glad to be home. So I finally just got home. I didn't have my car today because my grandpa drove us to school, which is slay. It's now 3.30. I wish I could have got home earlier. I was trying to use this afternoon to my advantage, but my siblings had other plans after school and I had to come with them because my mom picked us up. <laughs> I 
don't want my brother playing piano in the background. I don't know if you can even hear. Now I'm self tanning because I'm planning on wearing shorts tomorrow to school. And I cannot be pale. Because my tan from like the other weekend is like fading. We need to fix that. And then I'll have like a little glow for Hawaii in which I'm leaving on Monday. I've already done my upper torso, so that's why I have a sweatshirt on, so I don't like get it on anything. Update, it is 11.25. I actually look so exhausted. I'm literally falling asleep like as we speak, so I'm like, oh my god, I'm like It is now 6 a.m. in my self tanner. It definitely worked. I got so dark in the time I was sleeping. I set my alarm for five and I like could not get up. So here we are. And we're gonna be working on my homework. First thing to do is my science project. It's 8.17 in the morning and I'm so late for school. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I have done and then I'm gonna do the rest like during my other classes. Thank the Lord, science is my last block. But I literally just got four slides done and that's honestly pretty good because I had to get all this data first, make it into actual paragraphs because I have to have like a paper, paper, and then make the links in MLA format and then paraphrase it onto the slideshow. I was gonna do a poster, but I'm, no girl, I'm not autistic. Mm -hmm. 